Hello and welcome to a limited edition game unboxing kind of video thing. Um, and as you can see in front of us today, we have the Nintendo Switch version of Kill a Kill If. And um, obviously, as I said, this is the limited edition. Um, so I'm gonna unwrap this before we look at the box, because unfortunately everything's very uh, shiny and reflective and stuff. But as I unwrap this, I will give you guys a bit of a fun fact. So the name of the series, Kill La Kill, uh, in Japanese would be Kiru Ra Kiru. Um, and the word Kiru, uh, as I'll show you guys on screen here, in Japanese means to wear, as in, um, you know, clothes and stuff. And also in Japanese, if you were to write the English word kill, it would also be written as Kiru. How, so, the, like, title of the anime kind of works as Kill La Kill, uh, as it does over here, but also it works as Kill the Clothes, or Kill Those Who Wear Clothes, which obviously kind of, you know, ties into it, because clothes play a very big part, as, you know, those who have seen the series will know. Anyway, I've got the plastic off here, so um, we've got a fantastic uh, front cover here. Also, part of the reason I bought this game was, um, well, this collector's edition was, eh, I want to play the game anyway. And B, for some reason, the Switch version was £10 cheaper than the PS4 version. And this is only like £20, I think, which is, I don't know, like $25, $30. Um, I mean, man, the game is on sale at the moment for something like £17 uh, pounds online. So for £3 more, you get a ton of stuff. I mean, we'll check out them, um, you know, in detail in a second, but I'll show you guys the back here. Heat it up until your blood boils. So I didn't realise this. It's actually based off a what-if scenario. Um, still written by the same mangaka who wrote this. Wait, was it a manga? I think it may have just been an original anime. Um, and it does say here, we'll go through it, as I said, in a second. But limited edition comes with a um, display box. The game itself, which is useful. we got a soundtrack, an art book, and a squeeze toy. We'll look at all those in a second, though. So first, this lifts up, I believe, which is... Pr oh, yo! Okay, that's cool. So that's Sangetsu. Uh, I think Sangetsu is his name. If not, I'll put it at the bottom there, but it's uh, Ryuko's clothes, basically. Yo, that is... That is a really cool box. Sorry, I know I'm kind of, like, losing it over the design of a box here, but damn! Uh, it's like you've got the red threads, of course, the red threads of fate, and... Oh, wait, no, it's... Uh, sorry, it's not that way at all, is it? It's that way, because he'd lost an eye. And, okay, the back is just orange, fair enough, so... We will lift this. Sorry, I'll angle this a bit better. We will lift this. Oh, it's very orange. Or red, I guess? Now, it has been a while since I've watched Kill la Kill, so unfortunately there are characters I don't remember the name of, like... The dude, um, the the dude who wore green, who lost his eyesight, basically. He was my favourite. Uh, Kamagori, I remember him, because his name is Gori, Gorilla, uh, for, like, a gorilla. So, first off, we have Satsuki, uh, kind of in white here at the front of the original artwork for Kill la Kill If. Uh, and hey, there are, and Ryuko's on the back. Very nice. So I'm going to flick through very briefly. I'm always a bit dubious about showing you guys every page of these things because, like, there is copyright and stuff. I mean, my channel's not big enough that it would be targeted for copyright, but you, you never know. Anyway, we've got, like, loads of cool things. Ah, there we are. So we've got, um... I don't know what that character was at the back there. That was very interesting. So we got Ryuko, obviously. Satsuki will be next. E Ooh, is Mako here. Uh, the that's Kamagori. There we are. Right, what's his name? Um, Sunegayama. That's, that's it. Or Uzu, I suppose you could call him. Is Mako here? Surely Mako's in the game, right? She's right there in the box. Hoka. Um, Nonon. We've got Nui. Ah, yes. Nui. Uh, Ragyo, yeah, um, so, oh, okay, uh, so these are slight spoilers, uh, but, well, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you've seen Kill la Kill, I mean, it is a couple of years old now, that is a pretty darn cool art book, actually, that's, uh, very nice, I'm gonna take a look 
you know, m more in detail later on. So, oh, yo, we've got foam. Damn, I, I really like foam underlays and stuff for collector's editions. Because so often you just get cardboard and it kind of feels like, hey, whatever, look, here, you know, here's your game, here's your stuff. Uh, this is the game. I'm not going to open it up because as far as I'm aware, this is exactly the same as the retail version. And then if you pick this up off the uh, shelf in a store or ordered it online or something, you'd get the same thing here. But that's a look at, at the game. And underneath... Uh, oh. Okay, so you've kind of got to move that to the side, maybe. Damn, this is very tender. So you put that back. Uh, there we are, so the game can... There we are, so we have Kill a Kill If original soundtrack. Oh, okay. Uh, very minimal. Ah, there we are. Okay, never mind. Yo, I think we've actually got the entire soundtrack. Um, which is another bonus, because I've complained about this in other videos before, but... Nothing annoys me more than a collector's edition that boasts a soundtrack and then comes with like six tracks. And it's like, hey, it's the selection CD. And it's like, uh, what about the rest of it? Like, if I want the soundtrack to a game, I don't just want five or six tracks. I want everything. And um, let's have a look. Oh, nice. Okay, so they've even got like loops and stuff, intros and loops. If they're, I'm guessing because they're a victory song and theme of stuff. You know, they're not going to be maybe the longest or whatever, but, um, yeah, very nice. Like, we've got 30 tracks here, so even if it's not the full soundtrack, I think that's a pretty darn good uh, representation of it anyway. And the thing I've really been looking forward to, uh, and one of the reasons I bought this, I mean, the other reason, obviously, was because it was incredibly cheap. I don't understand. Now, I know the game itself uh, hasn't been the most critically acclaimed game however i i'm happy to play it regardless like even if it's kind of crap i i don't know i, I really like kill a kill so we've got here mako roke i think that says mako and i think that's roke uh yeah because ah oh, it's uh croquet or whatever isn't it so that they eat in mako's family um, yeah, so this is a version or like a replica of a croquette that they would eat in Mako's family. Um, the Mac and Shaco family, I believe. Uh, and this... <laughs> oh man, I, I almost don't want to open this up, but like th there's no point making a video if I'm not going to open up my things because otherwise it'll just be like, oh hey, well, you saw some of it. Hey, there we are. That's fantastic. So that is that is Mako in croquette form. Very nice. Obviously, a croquette is the. I think they're like um, basically fried potato and other things, or ever. Um, yeah, not for sale. All right then. Well, I'll I'll keep that in mind. That is charming and very squishy. Oh, that wow. Yeah, that's got quite an interesting texture actually. That's a lot like. Um, it keeps the indentation for a couple seconds, and like, I'm not a big squishy toy enthusiast, but that's that's pretty high quality, actually, I think. I, I'd happily display that maybe next to it. Um, in fact, I may actually, uh, talking about that, array everything in a nice, pleasant kind of way, and then we'll discuss it, and then I'll end the video. BRB. All right, I am back, and I've put everything in a eye-pleasing manner. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use this for my thumbnail. I may do, I may not. Uh, you guys may recognise this or not. But anyway, that is, that is a damn good collection of stuff for like £20 or whatever. Is it sort of the craziest thing you'd ever see in a collector's edition? Not necessarily. But for essentially the reduced price of a full game anyway, the fact you got everything else is pretty darn sweet. Um, obviously, I haven't played the game yet, so I may end up maybe not liking it that much. But honestly, even if I dislike the game, I think for £20 for everything else as a kind of killer kill fan as I am, it's really been worth it, honestly. I really like the Mako plushy thing. I'm really looking forward to listening to that soundtrack I may do later. Uh, just gonna be pumped for playing the game. I am midway through playing another game at the moment, so I'm not going to jump immediately into this. But I wanted to open this up anyway, because I've kind of had it lying around for about the last two months or ever. Because um, I bought it because I saw it was on sale. 
Now, if you do want to get one yourself, I'm not too sure if you'll find many around these days. It's about a two-year-old game now. Collector's editions tend to kind of sell out quite quickly, especially when they're reduced, like when I bought this one. But, you know, if you do manage to find one for a good price forever, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, let me know who your favourite kill-the-kill character is. Um, and, yeah, that, that about wraps it up. Uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos, I do have quite a few different collector's edition unboxings, mostly for weeby games, so if that's not your stuff, you're going to be thoroughly disappointed. Um, but if not, then you may enjoy them. I'll, I'll leave like a playlist to some things as well. And um, yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching. I'll be making more videos in the future. So until next time, goodbye.